what up YouTube back again doing another video this video right here is of my GL 1800 gold wing after I did what I did with it on this year to show you guys I had the um, Can-Am 622 trailer painted Tony Regans did it you guys can look at the video that I have for that one this um, lettering back here is all painted in it's, that's not a vinyl sticker I did the um, car wheels on it, 16 inch car wheels, had them cut down to 5 inches, they were 16 by 8s, now they're 16 by 5s. So I came out, haven't really been on a ride this year much, went to Myrtle Beach, didn't put none of my um, trip on there. So I'll be going down to Wing Ding 40. I'll meet you guys down there, see you guys down there. This Can-Am 622, had it painted. Now to the Gold Wing. Had custom airbrush um, hydro dip on it. I'm showing, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. Sorry, it took me so long to get to this to show you guys what was done. It's all hydro dip. Had the whole dash smoothed out to match the side of the bike make it smooth and not have the orange skin texture on it came out pretty decent really nice did the back pods on it also too you can see all custom This Ray Maple's coming off the front. I'm going to have that done by Tony Regans also, too. That was a job to do this. Um, take the whole dash and everything out. And this back section back here. That was a major job. Now I want to show you guys my stereo system in this thing. where I put it at. Jail audio amp up under here. I didn't want my saddle bag to be full of music. I still wanted to be have the ability to go out of town. If I want to go out of town, I can. It's a five channel jail audio amp. I had a six channel amp in here. So I switched it to a five channel. As you can see the bottle number on it. HD705. Then I put the um, high-low converter on here, run from the speakers up, so all you see is just this bag and these wires when I open up the trunk. Got an 8-inch jail audio, 8-inch jail audio back here. It thumps pretty good, it's all right, but um, I'm going to put a 10-inch subwoofer in here. I'm going to make a fiberglass pop to this, hopefully over the winter. I was planning on having that done this summer, but I'm working like 72 hours a week now, so I don't have much time to do everything, and plus I'm doing work to my house, so I have to do it whenever I can do it. The reason why I wasn't riding that much, but I will see you guys down at Wingding, providing that nothing come up or nothing happened. I have my room all down here and everything. 2008. GL 1800 Gold Wing 2013 Can-Am 622 trailer. I'm going to do a video of this thing at night. I put these um, LED strips in here. You can see these right here. Those are trick LED. Those things are really, really, really bright. Let me turn this on and give you guys a, a preview. See how bright these things are? They're pretty, pretty bright. Really, really bright. Got them across the back, but they're not as bright. Alright, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please 
like and subscribe. I will be making more videos soon. Sorry, I haven't been making none in a while. I've been busy working. Like I said, working 72 hours a week. That's four doubles in one week, so. Plus, I'm also doing work to my house, so. I haven't really had much time to ride. But I will be going down to wing gang. Like I said, in case nothing happens. Two envious. GL 1300 Gold Wing. Well, let me show you guys these saddlebags so you guys can see that they're empty. That's my rain suit in there. So this bike is still capable of riding out of town if I want to. Saddlebags empty. <laughs> YouTube, there you have it. Two in this GL1800 Gold Wing. I will be making more video fights. See you guys later in um, Knoxville, Tennessee. Alright, peace people. Later.